Did you catch the uh, the UFC this weekend? Oh, I did. I had to catch it, mate, because fucking my mate Paddy the Paddy was fighting. Wasn't oh, fucking. I'll stop doing that accent. <laughs> um, he was he was fighting, wasn't he? So I've, I got to watch Paddy. Can't lie, I wanted to see him get splattered a bit though. Oh no! <laughs> wanted to see that hype train killed, not literally killed. Um, no, I, 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 it felt. I didn't. I, 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 I got to be careful how I phrase this because I know Paddy's a. He, he probably doesn't listen to the podcast. He's a fan of yours. He's a, I know he's a fan, and he, he, talk, he seems to talk about me all the time. In he's scenarios, to Gary, Gary. yeah, in scenarios where nobody's gonna know. I, like he'll be on. A, it could be on Jonathan Ross, and he'd probably say like, "Oh yeah, watch this guy called Baby." So everyone's gonna be like, "Who?" But um, yeah, he seems like a, a decent lad. He had a very powerful message to to uh, to extend at the end of the fight. If you remember watching, um, but. Uh, yeah, I don't know, but a little bit of me, I don't know, maybe it's just like bloodlust. Just wanted to see him get <laughs> penciled, you know? Like, I, I, I don't know. But uh, as soon as the other bloke came out, dude looked like a pound stretcher, Pete Wentz. I thought <laughs> he's not gonna, he's not gonna tangle up our man Paddy. Um, but yeah, I, I did see. Yeah, he didn't do bad the other, the other dude that Paddy fought though, because he's like, he, he seems a pretty accomplished grappler and wrestler, and he did wrestling for a full round. I think Paddy lost the first round, didn't he? Yeah, the, that, that's where it, I said this before. I think that, that's where it, I want to I want to appreciate it more, but it loses me a bit when they go to ground. Yeah, because, just only because I don't understand. Sometimes, sometimes you know who's like in control, right? And who's won the ground bit. Yeah, but other times I'm like, I don't see what he's trying to do. I know that the, the commentators be like, oh, he's going, he's in full guard. He's going to try and get him in this and that. And I'm like, I don't really get it. But because you said you you know all about BJJ, right? Your fucking purple, super purple belt, or whatever. <laughs> um, and uh, you said that like the finishing move that you used was like, I think the terminology you used was sick. Which it was very, very days. technically Cause sound. Because he, he, he trapped his arm and he choked him out. It wasn't like just a choke. It wasn't just a standard rear naked choke, no, was it? No, no. So he, he managed to put a body triangle on him uh, whilst trapping one arm, which left him one arm. What he, the, the guy that was getting choked had one arm to defend two, two of Paddy's arms. So at that point, it was just like, it's over. Like Maritime. Yeah, we knew that. It was it, that was that was all she wrote. But technically, that was like amazing, you know. So yeah. I, I really enjoy that. And I actually had that conversation in the gym this morning with somebody. Like uh, we were, were chatting about the the. Uh, did, tell you, is, is, did I tell you by the way? I was in I'm the gym this morning after uh, <laughs> after blowing my leg to pieces uh, a few months ago. I'm, I'm back in action. Um, but the guy were like, "Oh yeah, I really enjoy watching uh, MMA in the UFC." But he had no idea about grappling. I'm like, it must be really uh, difficult to watch. To not know if you don't know about grappling, you, you're losing like a majority of of yeah the thing. Like you know, yeah, how can you watch it and not know what's? I think it's like Danny. I think Danny said it right when he came on. It's like if you like uh, UFC but not the grappling, then you just like kickboxing. Yeah, really. Yeah, and I kind of get that, but it's it's it is hard to understand. I guess if you've never done it, because like you can you can see if somebody's winning in like a boxing match or a kickboxing match if you know nothing about how to punch somebody. Yeah, but like when they're on the ground. I can usually tell he was winning, but like a lot of the techniques, like like I the, the way that he won, I was just like he won. Yeah, I didn't I didn't look at it and think technically that's really good because I don't know any better. Right? Did it not spur on a little bit of uh, uh, grappling in your household? Yeah, you sent us DMs in the group chat, man. Like, he sent us photos of Mrs. Beard choking yeah. out. I'm like, this so, is getting weird. Like it's late on, a <laughs> couple of wines. I'm thinking, what the fuck are they doing now? It's not the first time either. Because <laughs> like, whenever I think about UFC, I think. You know, and I see him get because co commonly, if they if they're submitted, a lot of the ones I've seen, it's uh, it's a ch like a choke, right, or a rear naked choke. Um, that's a technical term, right? Yeah, got that right. Yeah. Um, and I think like, why do they tap? I, I don't not not why do they tap? Right, I get why they tap, but like, if you've been choked out, you're gonna lose consciousness, right? It's not pure pain in the sense that like an arm bar, you're going to break your arm or something. Yeah. I get why they're tapped there because you're protecting yourself. So I kind of think like, wouldn't you just go to the death and think, fuck, I was pass out. Yeah, there's a lot um, of people that have done that. So, but that got me thinking. I was like, Linz, get me in a choke hold, right? And see if you can actually, if I can resist the choke to the point that like, I, I'll just, you can just choke me, right? Which was a bad because I used my throat to like make a living. <laughs> that sounded weird. <laughs> <laughs> but um, anyway, but I, was, I wasn't trying to resist in any way. I just said, get me in a choke. See if you can choke me out. And sure enough, I, I, she choked me out, right? Pretty, pretty quick. Cool. <laughs> so I was like, oh, 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 oh. And, and like, so I, I, t I actually tapped. Can you, say, um, can you put, upload the picture of it? I, <laughs> I, I did send you a picture mid-choke. Mid, uh, mid 
What was really funny, because I commented back saying, can I please coach this? Because Lindsay had her, her elbow was slightly off to the side. I like it. I put, get your elbow under his chin, grab your own bicep with, with that, that hand and then hide your hand behind his head. And then the next message back was, this is Lindsay, Adam's unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually her as well. I wasn't unconscious, but she did. She said, let me text, uh, message him back. Then we had the second round and I said, right, let's do it again. But see if I, you get me a choke, see if I can actually get out of it. But if I try to get out, and obviously I could because she's weak but um you yeah, know she like i get i get why he would because nobody wants to be unconscious do they i guess <laughs> that's why they tap um but yeah no i did i did i watched the ufc and uh, uh i uh i enjoyed some elements of it yeah what about molly big molly meatball mccann she yeah, uh, so- she almost finished it again with another spinning elbow to the it's like street fighter right she's pulling out special moves yeah. like signature moves and whatnot yeah i did i did watch it and uh, i'm not gonna lie i thought when i saw him come in don't judge a book by its cover i guess because the other woman looked she looked in immaculate shape yeah. she looked like a fighter man um not that the molly doesn't look like i'm just saying like she she looked more physically she was jacked wasn't she she yeah. was like she had more muscle density than george it looks like she a had more thick. muscle density than all of us. I think she was really, <laughs> she looked really, really jacked. But um, yeah, I think she would just, I uh, don't know. I think there's just a certain ferocity, isn't there, about Molly? That she just, she kind of gets that. She's that pretty scary. Right. Yeah, she? I mean, she she looks very scary. She's yeah. intense. I mean, I'm always like uh, sledging Paddy a little bit on her because he won't come on the podcast and he keeps ducking these videos, that we, uh, like we're eating videos and whatnot. Well, he's going to come on now after I'm, you said you wanted to see him get painful. <laughs> he's, like, he's got sense of humor. I'm only joking. But I wouldn't be sledging Molly. I think if, I think like if I said anything bad, she'd remember. Then if she ever saw me in public, she'd just fucking like clothesline me or whatever. Yeah. No, uh, but no, I did, yeah, I watched it. There we go then. That's the UFC London recap from us idiots. Yeah.